guest today, Hernan Cortez. Hernan Cortez was born in Medellin, Spain, to a family of lesser nobility. He chose to pursue adventure and riches in the new world. 1511 to 1519, Cortez took part in the conquest of Cuba. In 1519, to 1521, Cortes took part in the conquest of Mexico. Now we travel back in time to find out who this man really was. Hi, I'm Zane Levine, and I'm gonna be exploring about Hernan Cortes, who killed a bunch of Aztecs, but that's not gonna be necessary for me to explain. Let him answer my questions. Hernan Cortes, get ready. Thank you, Mr. Levine, for having me here today. I have gotten a paper that shows all of the questions that I wanted to ask him. For being the first question, what year were you born? I was born in Spain in the year 1485. Question number two. When did you go to Tenochtitlan? TBH. If I had to go there and the words there were that long as the name, I would probably not survive a second. I wonder what Mississippi would be. I came to Tenochtitlan to conquer and claim land for Spain and to get gold. Question number three. Did you go anywhere other than Tenochtitlan? I went to Cuba before I came to Tenochtitlan. Question number four. When did you get to present day Veracruz in Mexico? More long words, more harder to pronounce. I landed in Veracruz in the year 1519. Question number five. What tool did you use to tell the direction? That indeed is a very good question with a very short answer. A compass. Question number six. What type of person were you? And does that rule make you have to kill? Wow, how gruesome. So sad, but still answer it, please. This is talk show, not cry show. I was a person called a conquistador who would try to get gold, glory, and people to believe in Catholic. Question number seven. What tool did you use to set out the perpendicular direction for offsets? Another short answer and another tool, exactly just like the compass, but this time it's a cross staff. Question number eight. What god did the other conquistadors believe in? The same thing as me, Catholic, which is a type of Christian. But I'm Jewish! Question number nine. Who were your parents? Who were your parents? Martin Cortez de Monteroy and Dona Catalina Pizarro Ultimarino. They were both my parents. I thought were your parents. These are strange questions. Are you being hired to do this? No, sir, no. Question number 10. What were the dangers you faced? My army and I had to overcome numerous challenges to conquer the Aztec Empire, namely getting around the language barrier between the Spanish and the natives, getting allies in Mexico, holding off other Spanish forces, and finally conquering the impressive capital city of the Aztecs. Question number 11. Who sponsored your trip? The people who sponsored my trip were Spain and its government. 
Question number 12. How did you overpower the Aztecs? This is the last question and the most gruesome. We had immunity to smallpox when we came to Tenochtitlan. So many died. And then when we came back, they wanted me to be their king. But then they grew tired of me and wanted a new king. But then I murdered a lot of them. Well, that was gruesome. Thank you for all the information, though. I must go back to the future!